I'm going to go in now, okay, and I'm going to go into the bass, and I'm going to change that bass. I'm going to try and use a live. That's a MIDI bass that came with a style. I'm going to go into a real bass, and I'm going to pick something nice and funky. All right. mini bass player and a live bass player. African Seven guitar, the highlight right there. Now, the good thing about this is I can still control this in real time, right? So I'm picking all these parts. Okay, let me take down the, the MIDI part real quick. See, that's the African guitar in an, in the Western style, right? I can now increase the volume of that guitar. Okay, and guess what? Let's go into that screen so you can see what I'm, I'm, I'm watching on my screen right here. Okay, in this, the live guitar or the live chord parts, I can go into the settings. Okay, and I can even go in and see where I can actually change different aspects of this. I can have this guitar come on only when I press the variation button, right? So in that case, if I go here in, the, in the C and I turn that on, it means that if I turn off the variation button, the live guitar or the live chord goes out. Because sometimes when you go into the variation, you don't want to have the variation playing over and over and over again. So in this case, I can control it with the variation button here, okay? So now watch this, get out of there. I can now bring in the chords, the MIDI elements. Again, being controlled by my montage right there, okay? I'm controlling everything in real time. You hear that? The African guitar and the MIDI elements of that style are changing in real time. I can turn off that guitar by turning off the variation. So now I'm just stuck or left with the MIDI parts of the style. Okay? Now, let me show you this real quick. If I go into the effects box over here, Okay, the real core effects processor, I can turn that on and go to edit that, take out the chords. That's that live guitar, the live African guitar, right? I can now add a compressor on there to make it tight, okay? I can add an equalizer on that live guitar. I can go in now and make it sound more crispy. Listen to this. 
okay so I'm adding highs and I'm gonna go in here and add the compression okay now these are subtle changes but overall this I want to just show you how deep you can go with the event X the event X is like a mixer by itself which allows you to be able to have full control of your music that's what we're doing right now imagine how much you pay a studio engineer all right to be doing all this for you it's been done for you already on the Keytron Event X imagine how much you'll be paying a guitar player to come to the studio to play these tracks and sometimes they might even argue and discuss I don't want to do it that way let's do it this way right you have full control of your music yourself you are the player you are the arranger so if I like the way it is right now I can add some delay okay again just on that live track now I'm going to add the bass If you were to go to West Africa, that's a beat right there, right? Without the drums, just that bass line and that guitar. But I want to make it Western, Westernized. I want to Westernize that beat. So now I'm going to change my chord. And if you notice, the, the guitar is playing differently each time, right? So when I first of all did this, let me show you the screen here real quick. I did the A minor. You hear what the guitar is doing, right? It's different. I do the. And that's what I said before, the music has to move. Here, here we go. Bring in the MIDI chords. my arpeggio from the montage that was missing. Here we go.
that will be all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in to this wonderful presentation. Again, trying not to play or overplay, but to show you the power and the capability of these machines when you combine them. And not to outstretch your budget. You know, like I said before, you don't have to get top of the line uh, to achieve what you are trying to achieve. The cheaper Yamaha Montage or the other M uh, uh, Modi X series will also be fine. The sounds are, are, are pretty close. Uh, the cheaper arranger of the Keytron, which will be your SD40 or your SD90, is also equally uh, well um, uh, respected as well in the uh, musical world, especially when it comes to giving that live punch sound for the most part. But the Event X is the cream of the crop of the Event series. Uh, it, it's pretty much having live musicians, live studio artists, live sound engineers, if you want to put that way, all in a particular box being able to use compressors eqs and all that stuff now for some of you out there this may be way over your head but that's why you get the a jam sonic package that's why you get the pro one or the pro two package all of this has been done for you all you have to do is play adios folks as we prepare to exit as we prepare to uh, say goodbye to you today I am going to show you how easy it is uh, to do the live modeling which is a very powerful tool on the Keytron event we're going to start off with a Western EDM beat and we're going to transition and end up with some African elements and some African flavor within that tune as well pay particular attention to bass guitar and drums and watch exactly how seamlessly the event transitions without any hiccups and of course i'm going to also add in those great arpeggios which are being produced by the yamaha montage 7. so without much ado here we go and ciao